Hi and welcome to another session. In this session, we will learn how to record journal entries when a business takes bank loan. This video is made for those studying in CBSC, ISC, state boards, BCom or any other Indian boards. In case you are studying in Cambridge, that is you are doing your IGCSC, AS or A levels, a separate video has been made for you. The link of that video is also provided in the description box below. This is a series in case you want to understand journal entries properly. I would recommend you to watch the other videos in this series. So the transaction is January 21. Business took a bank loan of 10,000 rupees. Now the first step is to identify the two accounts involved. So the first account here is bank loan. And where is this bank loan coming? this loan would be given in the business bank account. So the two accounts involved over here are bank loan and bank. This is the format in which we will do the workings or the rough work before we record the entry into the journal. This format is going to help you in understanding the concept of journal entries. So for the first 20 to 25 transactions, Follow this format. After that, you will be able to record directly into the journal. So the columns here are date, the two accounts involved, then nature of account. The accounts that we are writing over here, they belong to which class of account? Then the rule, then the debit amount and the credit amount. All of these have been explained in detail in lesson number one. So I would recommend you to watch that video also. Here, the date is January 21. What were the two accounts that we identified? The two accounts were bank and bank loan. Why? Because this bank loan is deposited in the business bank account. Now, bank is an organization. And whenever it is the account of an individual or an organization, then the rule for personal account is applied to it. And what is the rule? Debit, the receiver, and credit, the giver. So here, the business bank account is receiving the money. Therefore, business bank account needs to be debited by 10,000. The second account in this entry is bank loan. Now bank loan is given by the bank and it is an organization which is giving money to the business. Therefore, to this also the rule of personal account is going to be applied and the rule of personal account is debit the receiver and credit the giver. So bank loan account needs to be credited by 10,000. Let's do it one more time. The two accounts involved are bank and bank loan. Now these are accounts of organizations. Therefore, the rule of personal account is going to be applied to it. The business bank account is the receiver. Therefore, it needs to be debited by 10,000. And the bank is giving the loan to the business. So this is kind of a loan account for the business. So here it's the giver. Therefore, it needs to be credited by 10,000. So this is our journal entry and let's understand this. So in a journal entry, you have first the debit entry, then the account that needs to be credited. So the credit entry, then this is the narrative. So this is the structure of a journal entry. So what were the two accounts? Bank and bank loan. So bank account had to be debited, therefore it has to be written in the first line and the loan account or the bank loan account needs to be credited, therefore it would be written in the second line. So what you do is you write the name of the account that is to be debited followed by A oblique C. Then you write DR over here that signifies that this is the debit entry and the amount is written in the debit column. In the next line, you leave some space. You always start by writing two. Then the name of the account that needs to be credited. Here it's bank loan followed by A oblique C, which is account. And in the credit column, we will write the amount, which is 10,000. 
and the narrative is a brief description of this journal entry. It always starts with the word being and is written in brackets. And here the narrative is being loan taken from bank. So bank account debit in the debit column 10,000 to bank loan account credit in the credit column 10,000 and the narrative is being loan taken from bank. Now when you take loan from the bank, you need to pay interest to the bank. So how do you record it? So the transaction is January 22, paid interest on bank loan rupees 500. Again, first we'll be doing the workings and then we will record in the journal. So you can continue in the same format. You just need to leave a line and then do the workings. So here you will leave a line and continue in the same format. The date is January 22. Now, which are the two accounts involved over here? So one is interest on bank loan or you can also take it as only interest account. And the second account is how are you paying this? So this interest would be paid through the business bank account. Therefore, the two accounts are interest on bank loan or interest account. And the second account is bank account. Now, interest on loan is an expense for the business because it is kind of a cost for the money that you have taken from the bank. And whenever it is an expense, then the rule of nominal account is applied to it. And the rule for nominal account is debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. Now, interest on loan is an expense. Therefore, it will be debited. So here in the debit column, we will write the amount 500. The next account is bank account. Now, this is the account of an organization. Therefore, the rule of personal account is going to be applied to it and the rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. So here the business bank account is giving the money to the bank from whom the loan was taken. Therefore, this is the giver. So it needs to be credited. So in the credit column 500. Let's do it one more time. So the two accounts involved are interest on loan and bank. The rule of nominal account is going to be applied to interest on loan and interest on loan is an expense for the business. Therefore, it needs to be debited by amount 500. The second account is bank account. It is an account of an organization. Therefore, the rule of personal account is applied to it. This is the business bank account from where the interest on loan is being paid. See so here, it's the giver of this money. So it needs to be credited by amount 500. Now, let's record the entry in the journal. So date is January 22. What were the two accounts? Interest on loan and bank. First, we will write the account that needs to be debited, then account that needs to be credited, and then you will write the narrative. So interest on loan was the account that had to be debited. So we'll write interest on loan followed by A oblique C and the short form of debit, which is TR. And in the debit column, you'll write 500. In the next line, you would leave some space. First, you would write the word to followed by the name of the account that needs to be credited, which is bank here, followed by A oblique C and in the credit column 500 and the narrative is being interest on bank loan paid so interest on loan account debit in the debit column 500 to bank account credit in the credit column 500 and being interest on bank loan paid is our narrative in case you want to learn more about journal entries or you want to see some more journal entries, then click on this video. If you found this video useful, then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and do remember to press the bell button to stay notified about all our future videos. Till the next video, bye-bye.